Atlanta News First starts now with breaking news. And breaking at 6 as we come on the air. Live pictures showing the crowds of people inside Atlanta City Hall hoping to make their emotional pleas before the vote that is supposed to happen tonight. Atlanta City Council moments away from deciding whether to approve the high dollar funding for the controversial Public Safety Training Center site in DeKalb County. Critics call it Cop City. This is the final fight in what's been a very difficult multi-year journey for our city. Good evening, I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Rick Fulbaum, and City Council is basically considering writing a $67 million check, and that money will be used to build the massive public safety training center in DeKalb County for both police and fire training. And we have seen countless protests, arrests, even had a person who fired first, shot and killed by deputies, all in an effort to stop that facility from being built. Live team coverage on tonight's historic vote. It begins with Atlanta News First reporter Patrick Quinn inside City Hall. And Patrick, today's events have the eyes and the ears of our country on Atlanta. It's certainly getting national attention over the course of this two year saga and it's coming to a head all right now, right here inside of Atlanta City Hall. You're seeing many activists still camping out. They're waiting to give public comment. This has been going on for more than five hours and it likely will go on for another seven hours. And it's been one of the Atlanta's most divisive fights. Stop Cop City! Stop Cop City! Stop Cop City echoing through Atlanta City Hall. And yet this project in all likelihood is all systems go. $67 million in public funding for this controversial project already approved in committee. Now the council could provide a final stamp of approval. I asked Council President Doug Shipman ahead of this marathon of public comment, is this a done deal? As president, you would have the best pulse of where the council stands. Are their minds made up on this project? Um, I think that a lot of minds are made up, but I'm not going to comment specifically because I don't want to uh, be seen as putting my thumb on the scale. I'm there to make sure that it runs smoothly and obviously to break a tie if it's necessary. Council member Matt Westmoreland told me he's expecting some last minute amendments that would clarify the level of so-called militaristic training on the site. He also said some may try and delay the vote, but he expected this to pass easily. But not before many, many people sounded off against this project. 357 people signed up for public comment. What could stretch to midnight? This is not a left versus right issue. This is a right versus wrong issue when we talk about Cop City. What you have done is you have betrayed the trust of your constituents. And instead, make investments that are necessary to create true public safety. Invest in affordable housing. Invest in affordable health care. Council President Shipman told me he knows public trust in the council could take a hit if and when this controversial project gets final approval. So yes, I think the burden will be very high to actually restore and maintain trust around this project, but that's always the case in city government. And back here live from inside City Hall, you're seeing some cheers from some of those watching on. They must have liked some of what was just spoken during public comment. And I was able to talk with some council members and here's what the vote's looking like right now. 11 for the funding of this project, four against. That will green light the continued development of this very controversial training center. Again, you're hearing more cries and already we're starting to see that even if it passes tonight, there is a press conference called for Wednesday from activists saying this fight is not over. From inside City Hall, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First.